Hi, it's Wendy at the library. I'm going to show you how to make a folded paper ball. It's one of those balls that would hang from a ceiling from a party time or something. Um, so we thought it was pretty fun and it's always neat to learn new tricks like this. So if you're ever gonna have a birthday party down the line, you'll be able to make some decorations. In your kit that we're making up, we're gonna give you a little selection of colored printer paper along with a couple templates for the balls. Um, I'm gonna use the bigger one today to let you see, but you can make small balls. You could even take a bigger paper plate and draw circles on your paper to make a big one. Uh, you're gonna have a little bit of yarn, a toothpick and some glue, along with, there's actually some printed instructions too. So um, you could watch the video and do it and then later on make it and just look at your printed instructions. So it should be pretty easy. So I'm gonna turn the camera down so that we can show you. Uh, the process of making our paper balls. There we go. So, first what we'll do is start out and take your colored paper and you're gonna wanna trace your circle on your paper. And we use this because we figured you could trace a big one here and a small one there. Um, and then that way you'll have enough to make two, two examples with this project. We're going to give you about 15 sheets of paper because there's five colors and just trace it out and then cut it out. So I'm gonna do the big one. I already have some done, but I wanna just show you. I'm holding all five pieces together and when I hold it, I'm squeezing it pretty tight so that they don't move around. You can do one at a time, or you can just keep them stacked all together and do all five. Doing it pretty quickly <laughs> for this example, but I would suggest taking your time so you get a nice smooth circle. I'm gonna set that aside. And then for each one, um, they should all be the same size now. Oops, there's a blue in there. For the first one, we'll take just the very first paper and we're going to want you to make guidelines for the other ones. So I'm gonna ask you to fold it in half and fold it in half again. Line up those edges. Oops. Then open this up and fold it into the center half. Um, almost like doing pizza pieces. <laughs> so we go and then this one here. Then when you look at it this way, I don't know if you can see well in the camera, but there's a line here, here, and here. And those are going to be our guidelines. We would take all the rest of the papers that you cut out, there'll be like at least 15 of them, fold them in half and crease, fold it in half and crease. And um, using this as a guide, you can probably do five pages, whoop, five pieces at a time. So I'm just gonna fold these all and crease. Fold and crease. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is stack them together. Make sure they're really lined up on the edge, nice and straight. I'm going to put this one on top, nice and straight. There we go. And using this as guidelines, I'm going to make this little snip, not very far at all. It's like not even an eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth. Well, that one might be an eighth of an inch but just a little snip in at the line. Now it didn't really cut my paper or make it so it's not gonna be strong enough, but underneath all of these other pieces, they also have little slits. And there's a slit in each middle and in each side. So um, it's that's what you're going to need for your guide. Then after that, once you've done this to all of your sheets, 15 to 20 of them, <laughs> depending um, what size you're making later on, um, I would instruct you to take your little bit of glue here with the toothpick. And this is important, especially don't do too much um, glue. You want enough so you know it's gonna stick together. So I usually put a blob, not too big, on the end of my toothpick and I open up each piece where that middle slit was, I'm going to glue a little bit of glue. Can you see how little that is? Um, not a lot. Just a little bit of glue, let me see, yeah. And then I'm gonna close it and hold it down. Then I'm gonna go to the next one, put it right on top, get a little bit of glue, put a little dot, close it kind of close to like where that little cut was right above the cut. 
not too far in. We want it near the edge still, but we want to glue it down. So this is going to glue every half circle right in the middle. It's going to make it so that it sticks together right there. That's part of our design. And then this one. There we go. And then once you get all of these done, you can go right on to the next gluing part. And um, that is going to be, let me see, um, where the two sides are now, not the middle. We've already glued the inside and that's closed. Now these are on the outside. We're going to do a little dot of glue. A little dot there and a little dot there. One, two, and place the other one right on top. And this is important to line up this edge here because this is our inside of our ball. There we go. Then glue again right above those two little snippet of cuts. Whoops, one. Two. There we go. This is tacky glue. It's a little thicker than Elmer's white school glue. Um, if you have your own tacky glue, you can probably do it right from the bottle. I'm going to make sure my little edges are lined up. Sometimes I even do this and then press it down. So we're doing that and putting a little bit of glue above this one. One and two. I can't describe... Um, the size of it. I'm not too sure. It's not very big at all. Like a quarter of a pea size. Um, just the end of your little toothpick has enough glue on it. Whoops. And a little dot on this one. And a dot on that one. And there's our yellow back on. So, you're going to do this with all of your half circles that have been folded in half. Um, do all their middles first and then go and do all of their that outside sides And then what's going to happen Is you are going to have a whole stack together now. I have already glued these down um, You can see how that makes them attach So the sides glue like that, but the insides stick together so they will open up between each color So you can already see the beginnings of our ball um, so I also want to do my new pile right on top of here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glue on that and stick this one down. Now, usually I would say stick these down. I'd put something heavy on top of it just to keep it flat. I put my phone on. Um, leave it for about 10 minutes. That should be plenty of time and it should... Um, dry most of the way so that it's going to hold its shape pretty good. It won't come apart. So we're just going to take our chance here and um, <laughs> and go ahead and continue on. So now you're going to need to get a little bit more glue out on your toothpick. And we're going to put a little string for hanging. So I gave everybody a little piece of yarn. Um, and maybe the length of it is about maybe this long. Um, if you want to have tassels at the end, have it a little longer. I'm going to make a loop here. Because that I can hang it from. There we go. And I'm going to measure and cut my little yarn. Now if I want more tassels, I can make more tassels and then tie them on. So let me do that. I'm making this a little bit longer. So it's up into the ball more. And then I'm going to take my little piece of yarn and tie them on. And then when I open my ball later on and glue it, they will be hidden. So you won't even know where the tie is. So there we go. All right. I'm going to just snip this one so it doesn't show. But there we go. All right. So now the inside of our ball. Let me see. I just want to trim this edge a little bit. It's a little bit off for me. And that's a thing, like if it, if, because I did some pages first and then later on, I can trim this little bit of an edge right there. There I go, just the edge, because we want the top of the ball to be smooth. Um, this one's close. Okay, so now what we're going to do is the gluing. I'm going to put a whole bunch of glue right down the spine, almost as if like it were a book. So get some good glue on your toothpick. And roll it down. Um, I don't know if you have something else you can take it out with or 
like I said, if you have your own jar of tacky glue, you can just use that and get a whole smear of it in there. That's good. I'm making a mess on my counter <laughs> as I show you. Um, you'll have a little bit more glue than this in your bottle too, so maybe you could even pour some out onto a paper plate and use it from there. But I just want to get glue up near the top, up near the edges. And there we go. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I can't get my finger in, but that would have been good if I had it. And then smear it down. There we go. So I would try to cover the whole thing if I were you, just to ensure that that cord is going to be glued in there really good. All right, so I'm gonna lay this on top with the loop hanging out and this down here with their tied knot inside, it won't show. Whoops, I'm gonna turn this over. There we go. So now that's going to get glued right into the center of your, of your ball. Now, you remember how all the other pages we did glue on the sides? I'm gonna do the last one that way too and then open it up. But before I do it, I'm going to just turn it and try to open it to see if it's going to do it. There we go. Yep, looks pretty good. Whoops. See how some of them are stuck together right in here? You might want to um, wiggle your finger down in. There we go, that just popped open. Wiggle our finger down in. I think it's between the yellow and the pink. There we go. Yeah, that's the pink one that's stuck together. Ah, there it goes. So you'll see, you want to make sure that they're all open the same. And even after we glue it, you can do it at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and put my two dots of glue um, into my messy thing here, but on this side and this side. And I'm going to turn it open. Come all the way around this last page. All right pink to the yellow. Oops, we're gonna open it there. And now this, you might wanna hold on to it for a while, or if you have a paper clip, just stick the paper clip down in. Whoops, mine came open already, so I wanna pinch it. Um, stick it, your paper clip there, or you could even tape it with a little piece of tape. It won't show. Um, I'm gonna hold that, but as I turn it around, you can see our paper design. Um, pretty cool, huh? This is all of those colors. Now, um, you can make a party ball with one color if you wanted to have a theme party. You can make it, um, there we go, and there's our tassel hanging down the bottom. So I'm gonna stick it up here a little bit so you can just see it hanging. Um, it's not dried yet, so if mine pops open, I apologize, but that's pretty cool, huh? Isn't it a fun? party ball. In your instructions, you'll see the picture of another one at the bottom. What I did is I did all the yellow, then all the pink, and all the blue, and all the orange, and all the purple. And so the party ball was like, it was sections of colors. You can do it that way too. So um, I hope you have fun with this. I did. <laughs> um, I love to have a party. So, um, or you can just decorate your room with it. It's pretty fun. Hope you have fun. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.